Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. All right. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay, that's good to hear. So, are you ready? Yes. Okay, very good. So, by the way, before we start, I just want you to inform or I just wanted to tell that we are going to use another books because we already done discussing last time the uh, other book, okay? Okay. All right. So, this is our new book, okay? So, our new lesson for tonight. So, are you ready? Yes. All right. Very good. That's good to hear. So this time, let's start with this one. Okay. We have step one, making conversation. Do you know what is conversation? I don't know. Okay. It's okay. So when we say conversation, somewhat like you're talking to your friends, you're talking to your family, your parents, your relatives. So that is conversation. Okay, you are talking to someone. Okay, understand? Just like okay. us. Okay, just like what we okay. did on okay tonight. So we have conversation. Okay, talking with each other. Understand? Oh well, yes. All right, very good. So this time, please read this one. Okay. All right. Can you please read? Start here. This one. In spoken English, you might hear small questions added to the end of sentence. These are called question tests, and they are used to invite someone to agree with you. Okay, very good. So thank you so much for reading this one. So here is the first. Okay, so we have 1.1. The key language is all about question tags, okay? So this is our lesson for tonight. It's all about question tags, okay? That's one. So now, so please read the definition of question tags. The simplest, a simplest question tags use the verb to be with a pronoun matching the subject of the sentence. Okay, exactly. Very good. So when we say question tags, this is the simplest question. Tags use the verb to be with a pronoun matching the subject of the sentence. So that is the question tags. Okay, so this is an example of question tags. So we have here, can you please read the sentence? This one. The music. Is very loud, isn't it? Okay, very good. So that is an example of question tag. So we have here the first sentence. We have the music is very loud, isn't it? Okay, so as you can see, we have here divided, right? We have statement and question tag. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, so the first one we have the word statement. So when we say statement, this is the statement of this Sentence, we have the music is very loud. Understand? Yes. Okay, and then let's proceed now for the question tag. The question tag for this sentence is, isn't it? Understand? Yes. Okay, so somewhat like asking question, right? So that is the question tag. Okay, understand? Yes. All right, very good. So again, let's recap. What is, can you please read the statement? Statement. Okay, can you please read the statement? What is the statement for this sentence? The, the music is very loud. Very good. How about the question tag? Is it it? All right, exactly. Good job. So next one. Let's proceed now for 1.2, further examples about question tags, okay? So, by the way, before we proceed for 1.2, I just want you to give another example, okay? So, okay. one moment, please. I just want to share it to you. All right. Do you see my screen? Yes. You, okay. Okay, one moment. 
Okay. All right. Do you see it? This one? Yes. Okay. Yes. So we have here the examples of question tags, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. So can you please read for number one or the first sentence? His father is a dentist, isn't he? Okay, so what is the statement for that? His father is a dentist. Very good. How about the question tag? Isn't he? Very good, exactly. Okay, do you understand? Understand? Yes. Okay, good job. How about the second sentence? She likes playing tennis, doesn't she? Okay, so what is the statement? She likes playing tennis. How about the question tag? Doesn't she? Okay, very good. So how about the third sentence? Okay, please read. He has got a nice car, hasn't okay. he? Okay, very good. So how about the statement? Can you please tell me the statement? Hello? Uh, he yes. has got a nice car. Okay, how about the question tag? Uh, he... Uh, hasn't he? Okay, correct. How about the next sentence? Uh, Sophia, uh, Sophia didn't go to school yesterday, did she? Okay, so what is the statement? You, uh, Sophia didn't go to school yesterday. And how about the question tag? Did she? Did she? Okay. All right. Very good. So how about the next one? You haven't had breakfast yet, have you? Okay. So the statement. You have. Yes, the statement is you haven't you haven't okay, how about the question tag have you okay, very good so next one, how about the next sentence? Okay, so the statement is... And the question tag? Very good. Okay, so next one. She will. She will come back tomorrow. Won't she? Okay. What is the question tag? She will come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The question tag. Uh, won't she? Okay. Very good. Won't she? How about the statement? She will come back tomorrow. Exactly, that's the correct answer. How about the next sentence? John can make. Okay, very good. How about the? Okay, the question tag is. Can't he? How about the statement? Okay, Jen can make his own decision. Very good. Okay, good job. So this is all about the question tags. Okay, so by the way, before we proceed or before I have some question for you, may ask if do you understand about question tag before we proceed? Do you understand about question tags? Yes or no? 
Yes. Okay, very good. So this time I have question. So can you give me an example about question tag? Okay, at least three sentences. Okay, can you please give me three sentences about question tags? Okay, how about the next? Okay, how about last one? Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, so those are the question tags. Okay, so let's go back now to our lesson. Okay, so we have here 1.2. Further examples, okay. So again, we have here further examples about question tags. Okay, so please read the first sentence. This one. Okay, he's tall, isn't he? What is the statement? Okay. How about the question tag? Okay, very good. How about the second? Okay, what is the statement? And the question tag? Okay, very good. Next one. Okay, please read. Okay. So what is the question tag? And the statement? I am late. How about the next? Yes, okay. How about, how about the question tag? Okay, how about the statement? All right. Okay, very good. So, do you understand about question tags? Okay, very good. Next one is 1.3. So, please read what is the topic it's all about. How to form question tags, okay? All right, very good. So, please read this one. A positive statement is followed by the negative question and the negative question is followed by a positive question. Okay, very good. So when we say question tags, a positive statement is followed by a negative question tag and a negative statement is followed by a positive question tag. So here are the examples, okay? So let's start for the first sentence. So the first sentence is, we have, let's read. Yes, please read. Okay, the music is very loud. How about this one? Isn't it? Okay, so the in statement we have, the music is very loud. Okay, so the word is under the statement is the positive or the positive verb. Understand? Okay, so here is the question tag, which is, isn't it? So, isn't, isn't is the negative form of verb. Okay, this one. Question tag uses negative form of verb. Do you understand? 
Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's have another example. Okay. So another example here is this one. Okay. So let's compare the two sentences. So the first one is this statement. We have the music isn't very loud. So the word isn't here is the negative. Okay, the verb is negative. Understand? Yes. Well, the other sentence here, the word is, is positive. Okay, do you see the difference? Yes. Okay, very good. So just like what we read a while ago, so a positive statement is followed by negative question tag and the negative statement is followed by a positive question tag. So that means, as we can see here, the following examples, first sentence ha or the statement here has a positive verb, right? In the statement. And then the next one, the question tag is negative. Well, the other Example of statement is, uh, we have here negative because of the word isn't. So that means it is negative. And then it is followed by a positive, which is the word is in question tag. Understand? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So, very good. Okay. So here is the next one. Okay, so please read this one, the first sentence. Okay, they're good dancers, aren't they? Okay, so that is, what is the statement for this? Um, How about the question tag? Okay, aren't they? Very good. How about the second? How about the second? Okay, so she's not very well. So that is the statement. So what do you think is the question tag for that? Uh -huh. It should be the question tag here. Okay, very good. How about the third? Yes. Okay, you're not living. And then that is the statement. How about the question tag? Okay, the question tag is? I'm sorry, what is that? I can't hear clearly. Can you please loud your voice? Okay. How about the next one? Here. Okay, her dress is beautiful. So that is the statement. So what is the question tag? Okay, isn't she? Or it could be isn't isn't she? Okay, how about the fourth? This one. John's hilarious. Okay, so what should be the question tag? Okay, is he? All right, very good. Is he? That's correct. Because John is a boy. How about the next? Okay, you're tired. So what should be the question tag? Are you? Are you? Okay, very good. Correct. How about this one? The music is fantastic. So what should be the question tag? Okay, how about number seven? Okay, so what is the question tag? Okay, that's correct. Okay, that's correct. Very good. So next one. 
So we have here 1.5. Say the sentences out loud, adding question tags, okay? So let's start here. Let's read. Okay. She's a great guitarist. Isn't she? Very good. That's correct. So how about the next sentence? So that is the statement. This venue isn't very nice. So what should be the question type? Okay, is, is he? This venue isn't very nice. I'm sorry, what's that again? What's your answer? Okay, all right. How about the next one? This sentence. Uh, the weather is perfect. The weather is perfect. So what should be the question tag? Okay, how about the statement? Um, okay, very good. So, or it could be the weather is perfect, isn't it? Okay, all right, next. How about the third? The food. Okay, the food is delicious. So what should be the question tag? The food is delicious. Isn't it? Or it could be isn't it? Okay. So how about the next one? Your dress? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Your dress nicely. So what should be the question tag? Yes. Okay. Right. Very good. How about next one? All right, this is. It's very cold. Yes, it's very cold. Yes. So what's your answer for the question tag? Okay, very good. Okay, so, so those are the activities about question tags. Okay, do you understand about question tags? Do you understand? Hello. Okay, very good. So this time before we end this um this lesson or this uh, class for tonight. So may I ask if can you give me at least one sentence? Um can you make your own sentence example about question tag? At least one sentence that has statement and question tag. Okay, can you give me your own sentence? Um, um, right, very good, that's correct. Okay, so I can see that you learn about question text. Okay, so I think that's all for tonight and we're going to continue for another lesson for our next meeting. Okay, that's all for tonight. Good Bye. job. Thank you. Bye-bye.